Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a review video and a testing out video. Um, I have the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water. I've heard so many good things about this and I got the waterproof one because I've got some makeup that is kind of tricky to come off with just regular makeup remover. And I've seen some people use it for makeup that like they have a hard time taking off. So I figured I'm going to get some of this and test this bad boy out for myself. So I put some swatches on my hand right here of a liner and a lipstick. I mean it's upside down. but So those are products that I always have a hard time taking off with regular makeup remover or makeup removing wipes. So I figured let's put this to the test. We are going to try to remove these and if that works well then I'm going to take all my makeup off on camera. So here we go. So we're going to put a little bit on to here. So there we go. So this is actually taking off the lipstick, but as you can see, it's kind of smudging it all over the place. So let's try the liner. I always have such a hard time with this liner and it usually just ends up staying on like half the night because I have such a hard time getting it off. <clears throat> so it seems to be coming off. I do have to scrub it a little bit. It's like where it was thicker, it's harder to scrub off. But it is coming off. I just don't know if I'd want to scrub that hard on my eyes. So you can see here it is kind of smudged but I think maybe with another one it might come off easier so let's try that so it is still coming off So I think I am going to go ahead and try to remove all this makeup. I have a mirror off to the side, so I'll be looking into that, but let's give this a go. All right, so, oh, I should shake it first. Shake, 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 shake. It like foams right up. So this seems to be like really working for foundation and bronzer and everything. I don't know how well it's, the camera's gonna pick up like the color difference. My skin's always so red. I hate how many cotton pads it takes to take off all take off all my makeup. I hate how red my cheeks are. So it seems to be coming off my lips easier than it came off my hands. Although, it does leave my face feeling oily. Would be my only downfall so far. Okay, so let's try these brows. Seems to be coming off pretty well. And onto the eyes. So 
I am still noticing liner there, but it took my eyeshadow off like nothing. I don't know if you guys can kind of see what's going on here. Usually when I use a remover on this eyeliner, it like streaks all over my face. So it's not really streaking, so that's a huge plus for me because usually I get it like all over the place. And it seems to be pretty well gone. I think there's like a little bit, but I can scrub at that later. But I'm so impressed with this. This eye. It's even taking off mascara, which I usually have issues with as well, so I'm super impressed with this. So besides maybe taking like a Q-tip and going right in onto the lash line, I would say this is like an amazing makeup remover. The only downfall I would say is my skin does feel a little bit oily, but I'm going to be going and cleaning it and toning it and everything, so that will all work out. But yeah, I love it. If you guys have tried this product, let me know down in the comments and maybe we can chit chat about it. If you like this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe for more content and I'll see you in the movies.